Pastor, thank you so much for giving us your time in um, getting us to ask you some questions. There are questions that, you know, we have that have come from the members of the congregation that um, I believe today you can shed more light. And I just want to say before I get into these questions because, you know, some of you maybe only know Pastor as uh, the pastor of the house, but Pastor is also the group managing director of Bongani Investment Holdings, a company that's worth a couple of billion rand. He's also the chairman of Dynasty Holdings. He's also the CEO of Adonai Broadcasting as well as the general overseer of Hallelujah Ministries. Give Jesus a clap offering. <laughs> Pastor, thank you so much for giving us this time to answer some of the questions. A lot of the people have sent through questions on email and so on. And, um, you know, would like to, to, you know, ask you some of those questions and trust God that you'll be able to give us the answers to that. Pastor, a lot of people see you as... Um, you know, this prosperous man, businessman, um, were you always successful, you know? Um, how, how did you get to the place that you are today? Um, it's a long journey, and I believe that uh, many of us have, uh, those who have been with Pastor Alf long enough, will witness that um, they have seen Pastor Alf in his weakest, and so God has strengthened him. No, I have not uh, been prosperous from uh, day one. You know, I had gone through most of the things that uh, uh, it's very difficult to talk about here. You know, uh, in, um, to summarize that I've gone through difficulties in life. But one thing that I had uh, uh, devoted myself to, I had set my mind to, is to invest my life on this, on this word. And family, I want to tell everybody that uh, this word has been tested and proven. God would never let us down. I remember when I had nothing, zero, walking on the street, not knowing what tomorrow will look like, I had made up my mind. I say, I will test the Lord. I built my life on every principle that uh, this word contains. And uh, I know that uh, the journey is still long, but uh, if I am anywhere on this journey, I believe it is because of the principles of God which uh, took me from one step to another. Amen. Praise the Lord. Pastor, you know, um, I, I am privileged to be one of the people that uh, has spent quite a considerable amount of time with you. I've seen you in the board meeting. I've seen you in church. Uh, I've seen you at home with, with your children. Uh, I've even been privileged to, to have access to see your personal assets and liabilities and so on. My question is, you know, how do you manage to remain uh, uh, humble? You know, because one of the striking and distinct uh, features about your personality is, is your humility. You know, how do you maintain your humility, you know, and yet, you know, you, God has put you in such a position. And, and secondly, also, how do you manage your time? You know, you are managing so many things at the same time. How do you manage to run all these different organizations? You have 11 churches around uh, uh, you know, Southern Africa and South America, you know, and, and so on and so forth. You know, how, how do you manage that? Family, in God, one thing stands if anybody intends to walk the walk with Jehovah God. That is humility. God cannot walk the walk with you if you are not humble. And I believe that uh, in my walk with God, I came to realize that uh, it is whatever I have today, I did not acquire it through my own strength. It is not because I worked hard. It is not because I, I prayed more. I still believe that there are many who pray more than me. The Bible says, what is it, man, that you have that you did not receive? So if I know that uh, I have received it by grace, why will I boast over what I did not receive by my own earnings? It is by the grace of God that uh, we are where we are. And uh, I think that um, the knowledge of uh, it is not mine. I am uh, a, a manager, a steward on uh, the things that the Lord has given me. It came from him. God could take it and give it to somebody else. So what I have to do is to keep it for the Lord. It's not mine. He 
tears a boss and on. It helps me to, to cool down. I will not boss over a car because I did not fight to get that car. The Lord has given it to me. And I also understand one of the greatest principles of growth in God. If you want to get anywhere with God, you got to learn that if you humble yourself, the Lord will exalt you. To humble yourself, humility is what? Is uh, taking yourself low willingly. Whoever wants to uh, uh, lift himself up, not humility will come. It will be humiliation. Humiliation is what? Being put down unwillingly. You know, that put you down. So I don't want to be humiliated. So I chose to be humble. And talking about how do I manage my time um, in the responsibilities that I have. You know, many a times I, I had stopped and said, God, I, I need your strength. But I realized one thing. It is impossible for one to have a task from God. And uh, on the other side of the task that God gives you, it does not give you ability to fulfill that task. What am I saying? Every time you receive responsibility from God, it also comes with ability to fulfill it. And uh, one of the greatest things that I saw God doing is putting around us, and especially around my life, men who are able, men such as yourself, such as Dr. Teddy de Almeida, people like Pastor Felix Oko, uh, 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 Mr. Shangwe, Pastor Christon, Pastor Christine, Pastor Flegius, my precious baby of all days, all time, Mama Celeste, you know, and so on. When you have people, and many of the leaders that we have, the job will be done. Because you see, life does not revolve around one person. Whoever want to live life around, I was born alone, I exist alone, you will not go anywhere. It is a collective effort that allows us to take step to another level. You know, we had um, uh, someday, just in bracket, speaking to uh, one of our current ministers uh, here, the Minister of Housing. Uh, and uh, we spoke to him uh, about whatever he was doing. It was impressive what he was telling us. And we said, how do you manage to succeed in this level? His answer, I believe, was very wise. He said that uh, uh, what makes me successful is... Uh, in allowing the expert to do best what they know. You know, there are people who are designed to do certain things. You know, I may, I may run, I may be the, chair, the chairman of dynasty, but I, I'm not uh, a, uh, an accountant. So if I want to be an accountant and I, I want to be a project manager, it will not work. So delegating people is one of my strength. Amen. Praise the Lord. Wow. That's so enlightening. So pastor... He's saying to us that humility and, uh, and success are synonymous. Amen. So if God is going to bless us during this financial wave, you know, it's not for us to be uh, puffed up and uh, for us to load it over others. That, that is very, very enlightening. And secondly, Pastor is saying that, you know, we need to work within a team. You know, you cannot do it all by yourself. You need to recognize and be conscious of the people that God has put in your life to cause you to move to your next level. That is awesome. That's beautiful. Now, Pastor, I want to just um, ask a few questions regarding the ministry itself. And, uh, and I'm sure most of us here would like to know how Hallelujah Ministry started. How many of you want to know how the ministry started? Amen. Praise the Lord. Now, Pastor, how did the vision of Hallelujah Ministries come about? And, uh, you know, did you always want to be a pastor or, you know, how, how did it all start? You know, it's, um, it's one of the things that I, 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 I had wished never to become a pastor. You know, I, I fought God for it. I, I, I resisted God openly. I went to prayer. When I thought that the call of God was so evident in my life, I went to God and I asked him to rectify it. I did all I could. My mother did not want it. My father did not want it. My society uh, 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 did not accept it. It was like looking at you low down. You know, in those days, uh, becoming a pastor or is still in the mentality of many people is that uh, you will depend on people's pocket. So it turns you into a parasite. And uh, um, what my father would tell me that uh, you have future son. Uh, you know, some of us have been very brilliant at school. You know, we, we, we move from distinction to triple distinction and so on. And uh, my father would say, why do you then want to end up with all that you have? Why do you want to end up in a uh, in a ministry as a preacher. So it's not something that I've intended to do. But one thing that I had from the day I gave my love to Christ was the love of God. My heart is for God. Pastor, thank you so much for 
given us your time in um, getting us to ask you some questions. There are questions that, you know, we have that have come from the members of the congregation that um, I believe today you can shed more light. And I just want to say before I get into these questions because, you know, some of you maybe only know pastor as uh, the pastor of the house, but pastor is also the group managing director of Bongani Investment Holdings, a company that's worth a couple of billion rand. He's also the chairman of Dynasty Holdings. He's also the CEO of Adonai Broadcasting, as well as the general overseer of Hallelujah Ministries. Give Jesus a clap offering. <laughs> Pastor, thank you so much for giving us this time to answer some of the questions. A lot of the people have sent through questions on email and so on. And, um, you know, would like to, to you know, ask you some of those questions and trust God that you'll be able to give us the answers to that. Pastor, a lot of people see you as, um, you know, this prosperous man, businessman. Um, were you always successful, you know? Um, <laughs> how... how <laughs> Yeah. 